Yeah, definitely should have done this one when we did the coilovers. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we just picked up our second control arm for the TSX because honestly I think they were both pretty bad when we did the coilovers. I only really felt the problem in the front right so I think the front right was worse but now that the front right is healthy I'm feeling that the front left is pretty bad as well. So we picked up the same one. We got the Moog front left lower control arm this time. We're going to be popping that in the TSX and hopefully this thing is driving straight. Now this advance that I stop at is pretty cool because it's actually right across the street from the old wash that I used to hang out in high school and there's some pretty cool cars over there so I'm going to see if I can grab a clip while we drive back. If you're not with me, you're my enemy. <laughs> oh no. There's no one behind me, thank God. Ah. In railroad tracks with a bad control arm slammed. My favorite, dude. Ah, oh, love it. Yeah, let's get it, boys. Love me some railroad. No scrapey. Not that the car's low enough to really scrape anyway, but I'm way more worried about the control arm than the freaking clearance anyway. All right, guys, time to get to work. I kind of already showed you how to do it on the other side when we did the coilover, so I'm probably not gonna go too far into depth. I'm just gonna get to work, get this thing in here so we can go for a test drive. All right, guys, so real quick before we go any further, I do wanna show you one thing with end links because a lot of them are this way. So you see in here on the end link, guys, there's a little Allen space in here to hold the stud, and that's because when you spin this nut, eventually the stud's gonna start spinning with it. So where we live in New England, we get a lot of rust on these threads, so one of the best things you can do is actually clean out these threads before you start moving this nut because as soon as this gets gummed up on here, that's when it all starts spinning and gets stuck on you. We're gonna give this a good cleaning. It's already got PB, so we're just gonna take our wire brush and clean off these threads. All right guys, so we're looking really good. We got the old control arm here. I actually just checked these bushings. They don't seem that bad. In fact, the thing that was more concerning was the end link in here. See how I moved it? It moved pretty easy, so uh, it would be quite silly if I just needed to do an end link and not a control arm. But I'm guessing just feel-wise that this is still gonna be the right move. Time to get that new one and throw it on in there. Oh, and of course, we have to hang out with Sadie a little bit. Come on, come on, Renan. Come on, come on, Wally. <laughs> Like a puppy. Come on. Come on. All right, guys, here we go. First two bolts are all set. Time for a quick dinner break, and then we are going to button this all up and go for a test drive. All right, guys, we are ready to torque these things up. Dude, shout out to the screaming infants in your fucking neighborhood today. All right, guys, there we go. Control arm is all done. That's probably the easiest time we've ever had with something on this car. So we're uh, we're gonna wheel the wheel back on here and we're gonna go for a test drive. Do it for Dale. Why am I talking Southern? I don't know. This is a weird take. Probably keep it in the vlog. Probably fine. I don't know. Here we go. Here, here we do it. Let's do it for Dale. Yeehaw, pooey. Hey boys, how do you tell if your ride height is a good combination of practical and sick? You know it's just right when you jack barely Oh, this thing sits higher now with the control arm. This used to hit the bottom of the Maybe it'll settle. But that's more clearance. Yeah, interesting. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to blow it, boys. <laughs> Alright guys, so the car is done and ready to drive, but it is time for a magic trick. Let's give it a test. Alright guys. Moment of truth here. Maiden voyage in the TSX with the new control arm. Hopefully it drives well. That's not good, I'm hearing a noise. Yeah, I'm still hearing something. See how it feels. It feels a lot better though. It's not pushing the wheel around as much. I was definitely hearing a little bit of a, ooh. 
Something just settled. So I think the ball joint might be starting to go, but the arm was a huge improvement. Awesome, okay, great. So we're gonna go for a ride, try and get this thing up to speed-ish. We took about half of our acceleration wobble out of first and second gear, which is awesome, and it's not tracking around the road anymore, which was really the thing that I wanted to fix. It's feeling like our ball joint or something like that is starting to go, but the biggest issue was the control arm that we did. So I'm super happy. Let's get this thing going. Looks like, is that broken glass, dude? Oh my God, it's so much better, dude. I just hit a good bump and barely felt it. Let's go. Oh, the shifting is better too. Let's go, guys. This car is so much smoother now. Oh, this was such a good idea. Oh, shit. F***ing quick on your brakes there, lady. Got a blinker out too. This is a huge win today for sure. And I got to keep in mind too, I haven't had this car aligned since I did the, co the coilovers, so that's got to be playing into some of the some of the pull action too. So all in all, a huge victory. Let's see if we can get a relatively decent acceleration somewhere, uh, somewhere safe and legal, for sure. This ain't the spot, dude. Yeah, this is so much better. It just feels safer. Oh my God, it's steer it's steering so much more directly. It's crazy how much slop really happens in the front end when your control arm's gone, guys. And you, honestly, when I test drove this car, I thought that was tie rods. I asked the guy to check the tie rods for me. And uh, no, lo and behold, two bad control arms. This is so much better, dude. Oh my God. I mean, it's not perfect, but let's be honest, this car's from 2008. It has 200,000 miles. It's lower. It's gonna have suspension issues. This right now is the best it has been since I've owned it for sure. So, so stoked. Want to get you some noise too, guys. This car sounds like better than I've really given you guys clips of. So I'm hoping I can get a good ripper somewhere. Yeah, it feels a lot better, dude. It's not jumping around the road as much at all. Let's go, dude. I definitely feel like I felt something like pop or settle when I was leaving the driveway though. So maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll bolt check this next time I do some, I gotta do the TPMS sensor and uh, this thing needs an oil change soon anyway. So I'll just give it a quick wrench over, but I did everything to spec. Dude, it's so much better. Let's go. shift was bad, huh? I gotta get better with this car. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, dude. Roll up the windows for this one. Guys, if you did make it this far, I genuinely appreciate you watching. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe for more just like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.